it was two o'clock. Five men came. First bullet hit him here, up, up, up next to his chest, and then the other bullet went through his heart. On that day, at the same time, I lost my uncle, I lost my friend, I lost my father. We lost, we lost. Gun violence has been a part of my life. One of my friends was shot in front of me. We live in a community that most people don't trust each other and most people have this idea of, I can't talk because I don't know who's listening and I don't know how much trouble I could get into. La, we community I got my show, on this palm, on this palm, we are chasing a victim, yeah, gun violence. I feel like a lot of people are going through poverty and use guns or crime, to be quite specific, as a way to get whatever they want or as a way of income. I don't when somebody comes to you with a story that is real, that's when you know that this could actually change somebody else's life. Students, they were sent and shocked. That was one incident in Zega. I wanted to make a change. I was told that there is a program called The Vibrant Youth. I should come and join because I have a passion and love for radio. I've always said that I want to do something good with my life and I didn't know what it was up until I was given this opportunity to go into radio. A lot of the youth in Goma should choose to pick up guns, but we as the young reporters choose to pick up recorders. When I walk out with having the recorder in my hand, all I think about is getting the story that's going to change uh, the perspective of someone who hasn't been through that. The more real and authentic a story is towards gun violence, I think that could change a whole lot of lives. Talking about this topic and actually having the platform to speak about this problem, it was actually personal for me. But I've been in front of a gun and I've actually felt fear and I was scared that I would lose my life because of someone else. So always, I was able to this bomb. I gave to say, I to mess with the white bomb. If you find that one person who's going to speak to the, the 60,000 listeners who, who listen to Vibe FM, um, I know that I might make a change. I think radio reminds people that we are together. There's a sense of togetherness and we belong. <laughs> The moment that phone rings, the excitement you have in your heart, because that's when you realize that, okay, I've done something or I've said something that touched somebody through a very serious topic. <laughs> me taking part, taking the initiative of being in a program like this that advocates that using guns, it's wrong. I'm proud of myself.